Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually get a ton of money this week using this simple money method. Now the only thing in this entire game this week which is two times money in RP is all of the terabyte client jobs. I don't know why they made like 50 different stuff for the Halloween but they didn't put like any effort into the money stuff because that is the only thing we had that's two times money in RP, as far as I know, besides like, you know, the time trials and stuff. But that's like a reset every week thing. Anyway, we're going to be doing that, and the only requirement for this is you need to own a terabyte. If you don't know how to buy one, all you got to do is go over to your phone, go over to internet, then from here, just click on travel and transport. Go down until you find the Warstock Cash and Carry site. And then keep going down to find terabytes and then you just keep going and buying one now the only thing you really need is just the terabyte itself you don't need any of this extra stuff um that i know of yeah the turret the drone you don't need any of that once you buy you can just request it by opening up your interaction menu go over to uh, i believe it's services and then go over to terabyte and request it and it's going to spawn the closest to it as it can. Once you're inside your terabyte, just go ahead and walk up to this computer here. You do either need to be a CEO or a MC member. So let's go ahead and do that now. And let's go access it. Okay, from here we have all of these different options. But the one you want to do is the client jobs. Now there's a bunch of them that you can do and the good thing is they actually let you choose your own job. I'm honestly not sure which one the best is. The robbery in progress is probably one of the hardest ones because they have like the juggernaut dude. The easiest one for you guys is probably going to be the uh, data sweep. So we'll just go ahead and do that one. So let's just go ahead and do it. We have to hack the targets to locate the data drives. Luckily Rob Sadas is our oppressor MK2. So that was really convenient to really use that. So now for this, all we got to do is just stand behind the vehicle and then just wait for them to be hacked. They are shooting at me, so we're just going to go up in the air. So that was a hacked vehicle. I guess we just got to hack all of them. I did eventually we'll find the driver. So the next one I think closest to us is probably going to be, honestly, it's probably that one, then that one, then that one. And that's the only one. Okay. But I guess from where we're at, we might as well go for the one up there. Okay, now we got the vehicle destroyed. We got everyone out the vehicle at least. And now we just deliver it to the drop off. It's actually pretty easy. The hardest part, honestly, is just trying to get this dude, like, killed and actually get him out of the vehicle so we can steal it. So after that, we just deliver and we should be done. I'm not sure exactly how much money we make because I'm not really familiar with the uh, terabyte missions whatsoever. So we'll just have to see then. So as I'm trying to drive there, the vehicle just randomly gets destroyed. I don't know how. There's a good chance that it was a modder because I am playing on PC. So not sure why, but yeah, it did get destroyed and we didn't get nothing off of it. So it's a really bad first go right now. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and just go back to our terabyte, see what mission we can start up. Now what they usually do is it's like 30 minute cooldown for the one that you were doing. And then the rest of them are like 5 minutes. So hopefully when we get back there it's ready to go for us. Back at the terabyte now we actually have 3 different jobs that we can do. You see here data sleep has a 23 minute cooldown. Now out of all of them I feel like probably the best one. I guess it's robbery in progress, mainly just for the money. So let's go ahead and then just start that one up. Now, because of how long the video is, I'm just going to fast forward to the end because I feel like it's kind of pointless to show the entire thing. And we've already got to like four minutes and I haven't gotten any money. So let's go ahead and just cut to the end. Okay, for this mission, all we had to do is go to a bank and then kill one of the person that was carrying a bag or a bag of gold and then deliver it to the drop off. And there we go. We got $31,500 and a little bit of RP. Not the best RP or the best money, but I guess it'll do for now. So let's just go ahead. We'll call our terabyte in once more. 
And then what I'm going to do now is just keep doing the missions back and forth as quickly as possible to try to make this one of the best money methods that I could possibly can be. For the fact that the money is actually a lot lower than I thought. It says it's two times money in RP, but I doubt that. I could, I don't know how with two times money it's only at 31,000. So let's go ahead and try to do this like as quickly as possible and see how much we get in around the 10 minute time span. With all, without all the stuff happening with the vehicle destroying out of nowhere and with me just not having that much experience on the mission. So now I'm actually going to go and try to do it as fast as possible and see how much money I got for it. Have you ever been broken GTA and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million? That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP Mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a 5 star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. Now after doing a bunch of these back to back as quickly as possible, I noticed that some of them definitely took longer than usual. Unlike, you know, like this drone here actually did take a very long time to do just because of the capacity of it having to go locate the laptop, hack into it, then go and kill the target. It did take a lot of time. So some of them were extremely easy. Some of them were not. Each of the missions, I've actually gotten around 31,000 to around 35,000. I think 35,000 was the most I've gotten from these missions out of all four of them that I've done. So just calculating these for each mission that I'm doing, the hardest one possible takes probably 20 minutes, with the easiest one being around 10 minutes to do, which kind of like, you know, halves it almost. So you're getting around, I'd say around $32,000 every like 10 to 20 minutes, which is definitely not bad, especially for people who are just trying to grind, and they don't really have anything besides, you know, a terabyte. And so if you actually add this up, if you make around 32,000 every, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, you can make yourself around $128,000 each hour. So that's actually pretty decent. It's not good compared to a lot of stuff like the Kayo Preco heist or any type of like really good exploit money method. This is honestly just a really good one for the fact that they did make it two times money in RP for this week. And the RP is pretty good as well, I have to say, especially for the fact that my character is a very high level and is still getting a ton of RP rankings just from doing this. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 content like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.